Hey everyone, we're Nicole and Miko. Welcome back to our Discovering the Philippines series where we explore the country to learn more about the culture and for me, learn more about what it means to be Filipino. If you saw our last video, we were out exploring the big city of Manila and in today's video, we're gonna be exploring the food here in Manila. So we've partnered with Old Manila Walks to take us around and show us all the best eats here in the Philippines. All right, guys, we have found Ivan from Old Manila Walks. He's going to be taking us a tour of today through the Binondo district. I am so excited to try some Filipino foods because these are some foods that I probably had when I was younger, but I don't quite remember. Hello. Rice cakes. All right, we've made it to the first stop. So Binondo is like a really interesting place. Ivan was just telling us that it's actually got, it's really like kind of a specific mix of uh, food here. Like a lot of specialty foods that we couldn't get anywhere else because there is a, a really big, of course, Chinese influence here. So it's an interesting mix of like Chinese and Filipino fusion food. And people come here to eat, to Binondo, to have street food because it's like so special and so different and you just can't get it anywhere else. This is, this is called, uh, well, we just call it lupia. It's kind of like a vegetable burrito. It's basically a spring roll, okay. but you see in in Manila when you say spring rolls, you don't just mean one type of spring roll, uh, so such as the fried version. Okay. So we have different varieties of lumpia. Okay. So it's basically depending on the filling uh, and what's inside. No? Okay. So this is what some people would call as amoy lumpia. So basically we eat it with a with a um, sort of sweetish uh, sauce with uh, chili sauce. I usually just put one small drop, just one drop of that. Oh, okay. it's quite sticky. Yeah. It's sweet, you said, yeah? It's served Thank sweetish. You. Oh, and now this and is the hot stuff, probably. chili sauce. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Wow. That sauce is so good. I can taste the really like the sweetness. This could honestly be a meal. Like, this is half. We've split one. Yeah. This is yeah. humongous. This would definitely be a whole meal. <laughs> There's a crunch to it, right? Yeah, it adds this little crunchy taste. Ooh, yeah. it's very good. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. You can hardly see them. Toasted rice noodle, though. There's little, like, crystallized bits. Anyway, they add a lot of texture. This is a fully loaded piece right here. Oh, my goodness. Flavor explosion. So good. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. So Ivan's just saying that this is like a classic tudo tudo, which is basically Manila style. You just have a stall right in front of you, and you just point at what you want. Um, I guess it's a very easy way to get food, street yeah. side food. Yes, tudo means uh, point. point. Yeah, I'm learning Filipino as we go. Me too. <laughs> so this is a, a dish called Bicol Express. Bicol. Bicol. It's a region in the in uh, south of Luzon Island where we are. And it's a uh, sub southern dish. It's made with pork and coconut milk. This one is um, dinuguan. It's a uh, dish that is probably not for everyone. But I, wanted to, I wanted to try it anyway. No, it's 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 pork cooked in its own um, blood. Wow. I'm a little nervous. I've seen dinuguan at meals before with Miko's family. We've had like a really big spread for a very special occasion, and I have. Definitely never tried it. I've always stayed away. But today is the day. Today is the day that she finally tries it. I don't think she can get away because we are finally in the Philippines. <laughs> Your hair is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try the Bico Express. This is the pork based one. Mm. Ooh, I like the kick with the spice. Very good. Okay. You don't taste as much of the coconut milk as I thought you would. No, hey? No. Just the pork. Pork and spicy. Oh yeah, yeah, pork and spicy. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's right? amazing. Right? Mm. With some rice? Awesome. Oh man, now the tough one. Should I eat it with rice to like uh, yeah. knock it's, it it's... down a little? Yeah? Mm. I won't lie, this makes me nervous. Okay, the one. Oh. Okay. It's very porky, <laughs> so I really taste the meat. I mean, it's okay. I won't lie, it's kind of messed up with my head. You know when you eat, eat, a, eat a food and like, I think it actually tastes fine, but in my brain is like, this is weird and you shouldn't like this? That's what's happening. <laughs> I have to 
reason why a lot of uh, locals here in Manila they come to Chinatown is because there's a lot of uh, mom and pop uh, type restaurants. This one is called Pu Chai A. It's what happens when a Chinese grandmother tries to make Spanish empanadas. <laughs> it comes out kind of like this, okay? Uh, this one is noodle, uh, soup noodles. Mm. And soup noodles, uh, locally, we call them as mami. Mami. It's, it's like mami. It's like mami, ah, right? Mami. But mami in Tagalog, right? Mm. So mami means anything with soup and noodles. And this one is a tofu dish. It's a fried tofu dish that was concocted by the grandmother who actually opened this place. This looks amazing. It smells so good. It smells so peanutty. It's so good. If I was like sick in bed, this is what I'd want to eat. This is like comfort food. This is the uh, sweet, sweet and soy sauce. Wow. And then you eat it with a bit of a peanut and cilantro. So we got the fried tofu, the family special. Mmm, that's really good. That can be really filling. A little bit spicy. Mm. Wow. That's good. Raw peanuts. Huh? The peanuts oh. are great too. I'm gonna like cut it in half so that I can try and get all of, all of what I want in my mouth at one time. How do you cut something in half with the chopsticks? <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever had tofu. No? I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. oh man, that's good. So the soup and the tofu are both so good. And he was just saying that the soup itself isn't something that you'd find like really anywhere else apart from this particular restaurant. But like that can be said with many different restaurants here in Benando. They each have their own kind of unique specialties. Because it's like mom and pop shops, right? It's not like chains, you're not gonna find them anywhere else. Very specific to here. I like this. I've been said it's like an Asian empanada, like a Chinese influenced empanada in the Philippines. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I don't actually know that I like the look of this. Oh, and there's tofu in there. Look, I'm having more tofu. <laughs> I really like the pastry. Love pastry. What is the sauce made up of? Is it like a pork um, It's called broth? Grandmother's Magic. Grandmother's Magic. We'll never know, but I'm tasting something familiar. Oh my God, Ivan just went out of the restaurant and came back with dessert and I see rice cake with coconut on top of it. Does this have coconut on it, Ivan? Yes. <laughs> this is why I come to food tours, so I can eat dessert. <laughs> Mika comes for the meat, I come for the sweets. Palitao, <laughs> a very traditional rice cake. Do I just eat it with my hands? Look how like spongy it is. <laughs> this looks amazing. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Mm, it's very soft. It's sweet, of course. And then I just love coconut. Who doesn't love coconut? Mm, that's good. This is the Biko. It's sticky rice with coconut milk. Mm. Not as sweet as I thought it'd be, actually. That's a, it's really, it's a, a little bit more mild than I imagined the palate that would taste like. Mm. That's good. I swear I've had that when I was younger, but I would just take it and just dip it in sugar. I feel like it's like almost more of a snack than I expected. Like, you wouldn't get sick of it, you could just eat the whole thing because it's not too sweet. Mm. I like it. So the Benando district so far, as I've been walking around, really feels like what I'm used to, more used to with Southeast Asian countries so far. Like, it's just like smaller streets. And this is, of course, like an older part of Manila. So what we've been in before is really like the newer stuff, right? Yeah, huge high rises are just giant, lots and lots of new buildings, but here, it's a lot like smaller, there's still some really tall buildings, but definitely smaller buildings, more cramped quarters, lots of like exposed wiring, electrical boas, uh, busy, lots of different kinds of vehicles on the street, and tons and tons of people out about doing their jobs, just like, yeah, it's just, it's busier. There's a lot more happening. It's got a really cool feel to it. I am glad we're with a guide though, because I just feel like this is one of those places where if we we're on our own, we would get lost. <laughs> And this is winter melon. Winter melon juice. It's not a watermelon. It's not a watermelon. Yeah. Winter melon juice. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's so good. It tastes like tapioca pearl in bubble tea, but just like, just like the outside gooeyness, like the really sweet stuff, because they, yeah. they usually put the tapioca pearl in like um, like a syrup to sweeten it up. Oh man, that's good. I used to make bubble tea all the time at home. And this is exactly what the syrup tastes yeah, like. Exactly. Actually, now I can really taste it. Oh my god, so good. 
Sauce is more important in this cuisine than I expected or knew about before. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. That's yeah, very good. So I definitely mainly taste chive. Like I definitely taste green onion. Um, a little bit of the pork flavor. The outside is really, really soft and just like, like doughy still. And then of course we get a little bit of spice from this delicious sauce mixture. Mmm. That's real good. Boiled, not fried. Very, very fresh. Just made. Mm. Ooh, that's good. I can't believe I ate that all in one bite. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat in one bite? <laughs> <laughs> Those dumplings were so good and so fresh. That's what I love about this tour right now in Bonondo is that it really is like a food central here in Manila and all the food here is cooked very authentically and very fresh. So Nicole and I have seen this food everywhere and all the streets have been walking around. We always see a little vendor there with these little balls on it, like a little stick, deep frying them. And I think we're gonna try some. And this is fish or chicken? Fish ball. Fish ball. Fish flats. Oh. Oh, that's good. You said tastes like tastes like chip? <laughs> Deep fried chip. It's fine. <laughs> I tried the fish. <laughs> it's okay. I don't love it. I don't love that. <laughs> I think we're stopping for Miko's favorite. We're getting some chapao, which is like my all-time favorite food, Filipino food that I had. I remember just trying when I was a kid and just mm. loving. You used to have it all the time. All the he time. He introduced me to it when we were teenagers. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one is steamed and fried. Oh, the bottom, bottom is hard. Very hot, so I should shove it all in my mouth as quick as I can. Pork meatballs inside. Mmm. What I love about Chepa is just like, it's like a really nice, easy meal. You know, like one little bun, with all the meat that you need and all the breading on the outside. So good. Oh, really hot. Actually, my preference with Chapao is like, usually I like it a little bit cold. I don't like it too hot. It looks a little bit warm on the inside. That's perfect for me, because then I can just like devour it. Two or three of them. <laughs> this is called Taho. And Taho is a very typical uh, drink that you get in Manila. And did you say it's usually breakfast? Because it's sold every morning. Wow. So it's like it's like instant breakfast for some people. Like that? So then you just mix it like that. Oh my god, it looks so good. Just drink. Oh, cool. drink. Just drink. Oh, I was gonna eat it like ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I mean, it tastes like there's not a lot of flavor. I guess I was expecting for some reason almost a little bit of sour, kind of like yogurt. Definitely not at all. Oh yeah, it's like, it reminds me of like porridge. Like yeah. porridge. Usually when it's so on the street, it's warm, it's hot. Ah. And that's why it's like, it warms yeah. your tummy. 
Yeah. Right. I can totally get the feeling then that this was like breakfast food. Right. It's like an right. oatmeal it's porridge. Like porridge. That'd be actually a pretty decent breakfast. Yeah. Well, I'm getting stuffed. We are on the lookout for some pastries to cap off this incredible food tour. Man, I wonder how many foods we tried. Feels like a lot. So we're gonna try out a selection of pastries. So, you know, there are dozens of these hopia shops in Chinatown. Okay. So this is really what a lot of the uh, locals buy and eat when they come to this part of town. Let's do durian first, because okay. I'm gonna start with the adventurous one. Actually really good. It's sweet. It's honestly quite plain. And this is finally to end the tour. Peanut cake. Peanut, peanut cake. Mm. We're making a big mess in here. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh good. Wow. So thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much, Ivan. Uh, if people want to book your tour, where mm -hmm. can they best do that? Uh, just go to our website. It's uh, oldmanilawalks.com. Yep. Okay, great. We'll, we'll put a link down in the description as well so that if you want to book the tour, you can book it directly right from the description. Really nice and easy for you guys. Okay, we are absolutely stuffed. <laughs> that was an amazing Fernando food walk. That I feel was... like we got a real nice taste of the area. Yeah, it was so, so good, honestly. I feel like I got to see the area. This is like a really cool, like, just dated community here. It's like got a lot of history. So I really like that we got to walk around and just explore it through food. That, that will absolutely not be the last time we taste Filipino foods. <laughs> so if you want to see more Filipino foods, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a like because uh, we have lots of the Philippines left to discover. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next one. She's so beautiful. She doesn't want to say hi to me, but she's so cute. <laughs> Uh, I feel kind of bad. We just kicked her out. She was just watching a little cartoon show on that table, and then they moved they moved her out so that we could sit there. I feel bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's blurry. <laughs>